Hotel 25. I got a bro named Cowboy there. You people want one? No, sir. We're reporters from Stars and Stripes. Stars and Stripes? Yes, sir. I'm Cowboy's platoon commander. Cowboy's just on the road in a platoon area. Uh, you mind if we tag along, sir? No problem. Welcome aboard. By the way, my name's Shinoski. Walter J. Shinoski. My people call me Mr. Touchdown. Play a little ball for Notre Dame. Notre Dame? Yeah. All right. You here to make Cowboy famous? <laughs> Never happened, sir. Well, if you people came looking for a story, this is your lucky day. We got condition red and we're definitely expecting rain. Outstanding, sir. We taking care of business? Well, the NVA are dug in deep. Hotel company's still working this side of the river. Street by street and house by house. Charles definitely got his shit together. But we're still getting some really decent kills here. We heard some scuttlebutt, sir, about the NVA executing a lot of gook civilians. That's affirmative. I saw some buddies about a half a click this side of Fukam Canal. Can you show me where, sir? Here's the canal. The dead have been covered with lime. The dead know only one thing. It is better to be alive. Excuse me. Good morning, Lieutenant. Good morning. I make it 20. Is that the official body count, sir? What outfit are you man with? Oh, sir, we're reporters from Stars and Stripes. Oh, I see. I'm Sergeant Joker, and this photographer's Raptor Man. I'm Lieutenant Cleves. I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Have you got a body count, sir? We think it's 20. Do you know how it happened, sir? Well, it seems the NVA came in with a list of gook names. Government officials, policemen, Harvard officers, school teachers. They went around their houses real polite and asked them to report the next day for political re-education. Everybody turned up, got shot. Some they buried alive. Right? Colonel? Green, what is that button on your body armor? A peace symbol, sir. Where'd you get it? I don't remember, sir. What is that you've got written on your helmet? Born to kill, sir. You write born to kill on your helmet and you wear a peace button. What's that supposed to be, some kind of sick joke? No, sir. What is it supposed to mean? I don't know, sir. You don't know very much, do you? No, sir. You better get your head and your ass wired together, or I will take a giant shit on you. Yes, sir. Now answer my question, or you'll be standing tall before the man. I think I was trying to suggest something about the duality of man, sir. The what? The duality of man, the Jungian thing, sir. Whose side are you on, son? Our side, sir. Don't you love your country? Yes, sir. Then how about getting with the program? Why don't you jump on the team and come on in for the big win? Yes, sir. Son, all I've ever asked of my Marines is for them to obey my orders as they would the word of God. We are here to help the Vietnamese because inside every gook, there is an American trying to get out. It's a hardball world, son. We've got to try to keep our heads until this peace craze blows over. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> <laughs> 